are going to look at some interesting combination of CNN in LSTN and RNN that allow us to create captions for the images to see several things which is going on the image and uh, describe and describe in the sentence. Let's start with uh, some theoretical part which will help us throughout the development of this project. The first part is CNN model. In this model, this model stands for the convolutional neural network model. This model is, uh, help us to classify the objects which are present in the image or the video. We have different different layers in the CNN model that is input layer, hidden layer and output layer. In the hidden layer, we have extra layers that is called as pooling layer, kernel layer, flattened layer and fully connected layer. In the pooling layer, we have method that is called as the max pooling method. And the kernel, in kernel layer, we are going to pair the data. In the fully connected layer, this is the main layer where we have to apply the activation function. Here we are applying the relay activation function for the accurate output. Let's move to the next part that is called as LSTM long short term memory. This is a special kind of the RNN model. This model was designed to avoid the long term dependency problem. Let's look at the example diagram. In this we have three phases that is called as xt minus 1, xt and xt plus 1. If we are on the xt plus 1, we don't need to remember the output of the xt minus 1. Just remember the output, it uses the output of the xt to generate the uh, future, to generate the xt plus 2. If we are on the xt plus 2, it uses the uh, xt plus 1 for the existing knowledge to generate the xt plus 3. That is called as the LSTM model. The next part is activation function. Activation functions are basically used for the mapping the input and the response variables. We have two types of the activation function. Uh, that is linear activation function and non-linear activation function. The most commonly used activation functions are sigmoid activation function. The value of the the range of the sigmoid activation function is 0 to 1. The second one is NH activation function that is minus 1 to 1. The range of this activation function is minus 1 to 1. And the last one is relu activation function that is rectified linear unit activation function. The range of this activation function is far ahead of these other two models activation function that is minus infinity to infinity. Let's move to the next part, model use. I have been used three models for this project, my image captioning project. The first model is Inscription V3 model, second model is VGV screen model, and last model is RNN model that is used for the uh, long search from memory as I've already told you. The first model, is, let's talk about the first model that is Inscription V3 model that is most widely used image recognition model. When we are going to use the image recognition, basically we are going to use the inception V3 model. The accuracy of the inception V3 model is 78.1% on the image net data set. That is a data set which contains, which contains 14 million plus data images, images data and 1000 plus classes. The second model I have been applied in this project is BGG16 model that is CNN model uh, that proposed by the K. K means square. We all know what the K means. K beam, beam K says that is um, this model is applied by the BGG16 model. The model achieves 92.7 percent top 5 test accuracy in the test image image net data set uh, as I have already told you. This, uh, this data set contains 14 million of plus data, images data and 1000 plus uh, classes. The last model I have been used is RNN model, recurrent neural network model. This model is kind of the LSTM model which uses the existing knowledge of the previous stage. For example, for daily stock prices, we are going to use the uh, last days uh, price and sensor measurements. Let's move 
to our coding part. The first thing is we have to look at the training or model. The first thing we have to do uh, for this project is train our model in this this part assert. The assert command basically is used for the basically used for the debugging command. This is a debug command. It will debug the com uh, remaining statements. With, uh, here I have been uh, created a configuration file which will contain the different different specifications, uh, contains the number of epochs, contains the batch size, contains the beam cases, random seed, uh, dense model. We have in configuration file, this is the configuration file. We, here we have to specify the data set. I have been used clicker 8k data set, uh, which I will show you uh, in this. have to put the data set inside the tra training model this is the data set which contains 8000 of the images and the other thing is we have uh, also clicker 8k text data which contains the different different captions for the images for training purpose and uh, let's move to other uh, to our coding part here we have to tokenize our path token.pl here and load our model the number of epochs depends on the uh, the number of the epochs means uh, the number uh, if we specify the number of epochs equal 20 this will provide us higher accuracy of the model if we specify the only one number of epochs equal one that will not give us accuracy that we want to achieve in this um, by this model we have to also specify the batch size that is also important in this project uh, we have to specify the k beam square that is also called as the k mean square method that will find the object and we all know about the beam cases we are i am not going to explain about the beam cases method here we are going to use the inception v3 model we, do, uh, we can use vgg 16 model here we can specify we have to specify the random seed we will select the randomly method uh, we all uh, in the configuration file i have also uh, specified the rnn configuration uh, configuration file which will contain embedding sizes lspm units means uh, how many phases we have to remember dense unit dense layer that is a, la a layer in the dense unit if we attempt the first attempt of the retrieving any accuracy is killed that uh, so it will collect the uh, bias value add the bias value in the original output and reprocess it the uh, and the dro dropout value dropout will value which basically specifies the uh, if we have uh, so many layers in the hidden layers we have so many others neurons and the drop by dropout value specifies the uh, how many neurons we are going to drop out uh, let's move to our train data set model code here we have to specify the tokenizer path and that is specified in the configuration file we have to also specify the model alternative rnn model that i have already been told you uh, we have three i have been used three models rnn model vgg16 model and inception v3 model we have to specify also specify the batch sizes that is 64 i have been used 64 batch size for the better accuracy and number of epochs that is specified the, in the configuration file that is here now number of epochs equal to uh, 20 and number of batch size equal 64 this will provide us good accuracy output which we want from this model at the end of this 
after tra training this model if our model trained successfully this will print the model trained successfully running model for validation set for calculation value score that is uh, score for uh, data and uh, for training our model for training this model has been used it will take around 70 to 80 hours to train our model and the minimum requirement for this project is we need at least 8 to 14 GB of GPU and 8 GB RAM and at least uh, 250 of uh, GB ROM let's move to our main file that is test.py this is main uh, code for uh, running this project in this uh, code we are just uh, fetching the data from the our directory and specifying the models which we have been used the first model I have been already told you the first model is Inception V3 model and second model is VGG16 model we have to specify these two models and uh, we are going to use this as usual we are going to use this model from the Keras uh, and TensorFlow so we have to specify from teras.application.inception v3 and we are going to pre-process the input so we have to import the pre-process the input and the target size is for both 224 we can specify by own I have been specified 224 you can also specify your target value and uh, here we are going to use the tokenizer Basically, we are going to use the tokenizer for the image captioning uh, which we have already been generated during the training or model and also specified in the uh, configuration file if we have look at this tokenized part inside the model data folder we have a tokenizer.pkl uh, file have a look on it inside the model data we have the tokenizer.pkl this file this is the encrypted file so we cannot open if we open this file we can't understand the format of this uh, file let's have a look on it this is this is the file it contains the encrypted files and flickered 8k dataset and inception v3 vgg16 model all the pre-process data is stored in the uh, tokenizer.pkl file let's move to our main file in this we have to load the data for loading the data test uh, path we have to specify the test path in the configuration file uh, in the configuration file test path test path uh, where it is this we have to put the images what, uh, which we want to test on this we are going to implement the image captioning so we have to put the, some images in the test data folder and it will fetch the data through this command let's run this project so first thing is to open your directory so my i will open my directory that is project image the first thing is open project image that is my folder and uh, second thing is also open i have another folder and that is image caption and now I am not going to train my model, I have been already trained my model because it, it, uh, it will take around 70 to 80 hours to train our model so I am not going to train our um, again this model I have been already trained this model I have been already specified my epoch value and batch size so we will use that uh, trained model for testing this project and just write uh, Python and test.py. My file name for testing is test.py. 
it will take around 1 to 2 minutes for testing generating the captions for the images uh, we have to for testing if we want to test any image caption generate any caption for the images we have to just put the images in the test data folder we have already specified uh, the two fold uh, two images that is bike stands out dot jpg and photo one something two images the, now it will uh, it is generating the captions for the bike stand dot jpg the first caption is generated and the, it will uh, it will generate the captions for the photo second image now look at the test this folder have been already generated so it will not duplicate it will not create the duplicate folder uh, in output folder so the first output of this project is beam cases that if you remember have been already specified my beam case as value equal to c in the configuration file have a look on it here beam search to equal c it will search three times I am not going to explain as I've already told you. I am not going to explain the beam key search method. The output folder and the caption. If we basically look at the don't look at the caption, but see the images. There is a man who is riding the bike bike on the dirt path, and the caption which is generated by my this model is is a man who is riding a bike on the dirt path. The second is we look at the second output. Output of the second image. The beam key search equal three. I have been already specified in the configuration file. And the caption of this image: A man on a motorcycle is riding a motorcycle. That is quite impressive. Uh, that's all for this project. I uh, used these models and. Uh, <coughs> During the pre-processing model, uh, also three files are generated uh, in the utils folder. That is loading our data and the model uh, is we are going to use the model. That is Inception V3, VGG16 and RNM model. And the last is pre-processing model which is generated during the training our model. So that's all for now. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much.